hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Teresa and I'm glad you guys decided to join me today today I'm going to be sharing with you a plan with me for the week of July 9th through July the 15th in my classic happy planner and this is a part of the plan with me design group weekly collaboration that I am a part of and what that is if you aren't familiar with the plan with me design group is it is a bunch of us planner enthusiasts who share weekly plan with me in our planners and we all share them on YouTube and it's we all use different planners we do different types of planning some are white space some are no white space some are kits some are no kits so it just varies um, on the person and we just share a love of planning and we like to share that with other people so I do have a link listed down below in my link tree for the plan with me design group blog page and if you click that link it'll take you to the blog page and from there, it will take you to a list of all of the other YouTube creators that do um, the weekly plan with me. So I am going to be using today a kit from Megan Renee Plans, and I do PR for Megan. My discount code for her is Teresa20, and that saves you 20% off of your purchase. And I have a link down below in my link tree as well for Megan's Etsy page. Now I am going to go through this kit with you real quickly and then we'll go ahead and get started. I have hauled this in a haul and I will link that either in an iCard or um, on the back end at the um, end screen. So take, you know, just look for that if you want to see the haul that I did. So the first page is our eight full box um, the full deco boxes and this kit is made for the classic happy planner now she does make them as well for the Erin Condren and the quote here says happiness blooms from within here are the eight full box heart checklists we have our little things our eight half boxes weekend banner sidebar headers two half box check lists we've got one Monday through Sunday tracker our headers which I have already laid down we've got two bill dues three small page flags and then we also have the bottom washi we have our date covers date dots which I've laid down two habit trackers and another Monday through Sunday and this kit also comes with the teal glitter headers here and the name of this kit is Teal Floral. And this kit is just gorgeous. I'm so excited to use this. So <clears throat> the washi that I have picked is going to be these two, um, this like teal with polka dots and then this gorgeous gray. Um, I don't have any gray washi besides this and it does have a little gray in here so I thought I may just kind of throw that in there and it does have a little bit of the same kind of design on the stickers if you look on this one it's got kind of like that same same pattern a little similar and then I also and these I got from Hobby Lobby when they had their sale um, I think the washi was like half off so it was normally like $4.99 and I got it for $2.99 so I got those and then pulled those out and then I also have this gorgeous floral from the washi tape shop and I did haul this and I will link this either in an iCard or at the end screen as well but this is just gorgeous and I love it it goes so nicely with this kit so I'm probably going to use this one for sure and then maybe one of those and then clips that I pulled out, I have this one here. Um, this is a paper flower, and this is from Run With Craft Scissors, and it's on what she calls an antique clip. And then on the back, it's just that solid clip there, so, and that just matches so nicely with this kit. So I'm going to use that one. Then I have this one. 
And I may not use this one just because it does have the pink, but I thought maybe if I pulled in a little pink, it, you know, I don't know. So we'll see. And I got this one in some friend mail. And then I also have this gorgeous felt clip. And this was from some friend mail. It was the same gal that sent me the, the uh, bow. And it's just got the felt backing there. So those are the clips that I have pulled out. So I am going to go ahead and get started. So today is actually that I'm filming this is Thursday, July 5th. So it's the day after the 4th. So I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July. We had a very calm day. <laughs> no baby yet. So he's actually not due until the 12th but I just didn't think she would make it. And I am actually going to start use putting these in my middle row. So I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm just I'm just trying a different way of planning. Just to see how I like it with the deco boxes in the middle row and then like the checklists and the little little um, the half boxes in between. So just something different. So yes, no baby yet. And we were with her and Tony and Nolan last night. We went over for dinner and they just got a pool and her and Nolan swam and we just grilled. We had hamburgers and brats and um, potato salad and her, Tony, and John all had to work today, so we didn't stay too late, just had dinner and stayed for a couple hours and then came home so John could get to bed to go to work. But Saturday, um, here in our town, they do they're having a summer fest. And basically what they're going to do is close down Main Street for the entire day through the evening until the fireworks are done. And then, um, so they're going to have a car show, a craft show, um, a dunk tank, um, face painting, and then a bunch of other things like that. And then the parade will be at five or six. I'm not sure. I can't remember now what the time was. And then fireworks start at 1030. And those this year, they used to do them at the school, which was probably about a mile outside of town, which we live right in town. Um, this year they are doing them right here in town so we will actually be able to sit on our front porch and watch the fireworks without I mean we could see them before but not as clear you know because they were a little ways out of town and there was a lot of trees and stuff in the way but now we'll be able to like literally sit like right on our front porch and see everything perfectly so we'll have the kids over and cook out and so that's when we'll do our little celebration with them unless Paxton has other ideas which none of us would mind if he decides to come Saturday or sooner she's just miserable <laughs> She's just so, I don't think her little belly could go get any bigger. She's just, but she has dropped like a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, she's dropped like a lot, a lot. And she was at the doctor's, was it last week or the week before? She was one centimeter, so and only 50% effaced, so I don't know. She said she doesn't have any 
signs of labor. So now she's thinking she's probably going to go over. She's, she said she's either going to go over or she's going to go into labor and have him on her birthday, which will be her 21st birthday on Sunday, which is July the 8th. Or she's going to go over, she said. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. You know, babies come in on their own time. But she is beyond ready. And it's just been so hot here the last couple weeks. She's just miserable. So, yeah, she is just... And her feet and, you know, ankles are swelling because of it's so hot. And, yeah, she's just... She is beyond ready. And I don't blame her. <laughs> I was never late. Well, I had her, but it was early July, so. And we lived in Florida when I had her, so. I mean, it was hot. But I don't remember, like, swelling like that or anything like that. I do remember when I had her the year I had her, um, the 4th of July was on a Saturday and I had my doctor's appointment on a Friday and they decided because I had preeclampsia and toxemia when I was pregnant with Kristen and high blood pressure and you know that whole nine yards. And when I had Michaela, I was had no issues with any of that um, until the very last week. And then I started getting, my blood pressure started to go up. And um, so they did put me on bed rest until I had her, which was, you know, obviously the weekend of July 4th, and it was, the 4th of July was on a Saturday that year, and I remember I couldn't go with John and Kristen to see fireworks, you know, I was so bummed, I was on bed rest and they got to go out and have a good time and I was stuck home on the couch <laughs> and then um, they wanted me to come in that Monday just to see how my blood pressure was and um, so I did and my blood pressure was not good so they decided that they were going to admit me and induce me, which was a Monday, and, um, right, no, maybe it was two, what do you think, I'm trying to think, because I had her on the 8th, and I actually went into the hospital on my due date, and my due date was the 6th, so it was Tuesday is when I went in, and they decided that they were going to admit me and induce, and, um, well, they gave me the option. I could be induced or just go ahead and have a C-section, because I had had a C-section with Kristen because I didn't dilate at all with her. But I wanted to try to have her Michaela naturally. So they went ahead and induced me. And then they turned everything off that night so I could sleep. And then they started it up again the next morning. And we did the same thing on the 7th. And to no avail, little Miss Michaela was not intending to come out. 
so and they turned the induction off at night so I could sleep and so then they started it up again the next day which was the 8th down one page <coughs> and um, so when they did that um, they said well let's go ahead and it was probably about 2 in the afternoon and they said it's just nothing is happening and so we probably should go ahead and just do the c-section so by 5 30 that night we had little miss Michaela and that was all she wrote <laughs> So, yeah, I didn't dilate for either one of my kids. And my mom didn't with me or my brother. But now both of my girls have had no issues. Thank goodness. Because I was really worried about them having natural, you know, natural childbirth. And they have not had any issues. And fingers crossed in prayers that it happens that way with Paxton this time. So, oops, shoot. I think because it's been so hot up here, this tape isn't ripping real well. There we go. Okay, now, I think I'm going to put the gray here. I don't want to use this one because we've got it here. I was so excited when I saw gray was in this kit because I'm like, yes, I'm going to use that gray washi. It's just so pretty. And I really like the full deco boxes in the center there. So I think I'll try the same thing in my Erin Condren just to see how I like it there. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put our half boxes down. All right. say so these should fit nicely here. Yeah, there's just a little gap, but that is okay. That one's got a similar pattern, so I'm going to jump to this one. It is so pretty. Those teal colors, I just love the teal. Okay. 
So I hope you guys all had a wonderful and safe fourth. Alright, so the weekend banner. Let's go ahead and put that down. down here. Or here. I think I want it up here. Oh yeah. Oh I like that. I love it actually. Okay, so now let's work on our sidebar. That is gorgeous. Oh, I just love this. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's see. We're going to use we're going to use this box here because we started off with this one here. So, let's put a this week, and I'm going to turn you sideways, guys. I don't know about you guys, but we have been, we're in week two of this horrible heat wave. It is just so humid. I, if it wasn't so humid, it would be okay. Cause like the temperatures, like this week, the temperature's only in the eighties. I can deal with eighties without humidity. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. So then I'm not going to use any of these because these don't really pertain to this planner. So I'm going to jump back over here because I do have the to do today and little things headers still left. And what I am going to do, because this is how, this is what I'll use for filming. And then maybe I'll do, the little things. No, I'll do to do for my, where I track my um, PR posts. So we'll use that. And then, oh, let me my full box. All right, so then we're gonna use the last checklist and that gives us two pages done. So what is the temperature like where you guys are at? Is it miserable for you too? I know by this weekend though, they said it should be nice, which is great because if they have the, um, you know, with the things going on here in town, we don't want it to be so humid. Okay, so then we're going to use this for my Instagram. Okay, now here's what I think I'm going to use this washi up here, or I could use the last half box, but I think that might be too big. Hmm. 
Because hmm. I just don't like this big blank space. Let's see. I don't know, this might look funny though, because I don't have any like deco or anything to go up there. And then this is blank. So let's just use, let's go ahead and use this. Okay, so I need to cut it down. Tad. I just want to mark it. I'll be able to cut it straight. It might be a little off, but that's okay. Just to cover a little bit of that white space. Okay. I think that should do it for that. Now, okay, so we still have this in our dates. We still have all of our glitter headers. We have these two headers. We've got two bildus, the page flags, and I might use the page flags. We've got this half box, the two, three heart check boxes here, half boxes, these sidebar headers, and then all of these little things. But we are going to lay down our functionals. And I'm sorry, guys. I did not. Normally, I get these all ready, and I didn't do that. So I do apologize. Let me. I'm going to pause you for just a minute so I can run through these real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to do um, Coffee Monday. So these are from Megan Renee Plans, and I don't have one that matches like that color green. So I'm going to use this kind of like um, beige. And we'll just put that right here. Okay, and then we will go ahead and do a Mocha Loves Coffee. These are from the Planner's World. And we'll put that here. And then I'm going to use one of these from Butterfly Planner. And I do PR for the Planner's World and Butterfly Planner. So I think I'm going to use this like grayish silver. And these are her glitter coffee cups. I love these. We'll put that there. Oops. Put that there. And then these are from Britannia Nicole. And I'm going to use one of these gray ones here. Let me just put that there because I drink coffee every day. If you guys are new, I drink coffee every day. So instead of putting one on every single day, I just put them in between. And then that way I save all my stickles. All right. So Wednesday is Washi Wednesday. So I'm going to use one of these Washi Moxies. And these are from the Planner's World. And I think I'm just going to use this one here. So we will need to post. Washi Wednesday. And I did not do that yesterday. Okay, then we need to do comments. So I am going to use this little MacBook from the Planner's World. And I have links to all the shops that I PR for down below along with my discount codes. So we need to do comments on Monday. 
We're going to use one of these from Butterfly Planner. And again, we'll use one of these silver, gray silver. And then we're going to use one of these from Pretty Planner. This is Rosie the Fox. And we'll put a Rosie on Friday. We'll put her down here. And she's on a little laptop on her desk. That's so cute. And then we'll put another one of the MacBooks from the Planner's World on Sunday. Okay, so we're done with comments. Now, and I'm going to use a rosy payday, even though I don't track that and this planner, but I like to know, I just like to have paydays on my both planners. So John gets paid on Friday, or Thursdays now. Okay, so now we do plan with me's while they get posted on Mondays and Sundays. So I'm going to use one of these headers and we'll just use one because I don't use these. We're just going to take this one with the little car and we're going to put it here on Monday. And I wonder if we'll stick with it right here. So we're going to put that there. And then I'm going to use one of these planners from Butterfly Planner. And it looks like that one will look really nice. So we'll just put that. Oh, look, that's like a perfect, almost perfect. Looks like it came with the kit. Okay, and then for Sunday is when my Happy Planner goes live. And we will use a little clock. And we'll put that right there. And then we'll use one of these from Britannia Nicole. And I think we'll just use this like khaki one. It should be fine. It kind of matches the coffee Monday. So we'll just put that there. That's for my happy planner release. So this is when you'll see this plan with me go up. Okay, then we need to do spread picks. So we will use Um, we're going to use one of these from Britannia <clears throat> on Monday. So those are before the pen. Um, we will use this black one on Wednesday for midweek and washi Wednesday. And these are from Megan Renee. So we're just going to put that there. And then we're going to use one of these lighter teal ones on Sunday from Megan Renee. And we'll put that there. God, that almost like blends perfect. <laughs> okay, so that is that. Now we need happy mail and I check my mail we, we try to check it every day but we don't always get to the post office which I don't know why because it's walking distance from our house for goodness sakes so we will use one of these from butterfly planner and 
do this on Tuesday. And then we'll use one for Thursday from Megan Renee Plans. We'll use this one that says Happy Mail. And then we'll use this little rosy from Purdy Planner for Saturday. <laughs> I love Rosie. She's so cute. Okay, then we need This is going to be my YouTube, so I'm going to use one of these, and I honestly don't remember where I got these from, you guys. And I think I'm going to go with the pink, so we're just going to put that here, because that'll track, like, what videos I do and when they go up. So then for um, my habit trackers, I am going to use one of these and again I don't know where these came from either this one is going to be for Instagram and then this little book is going to be for Facebook okay um oh This is where I'm going to keep track of my PR posts. And these are from Butterfly Planner. She doesn't sell these in the shop. These she just makes for us girls. And I like to use them. So I'm just going to put this in my header right there. Because this is where I keep track of all the shops. Now, I know we have, I film my plan with me's on Thursday. I film and edit. So we're going to use one of these. Actually, we're going to use two. So we'll use so we'll put this one here. And then I'll probably upload it, upload them Friday. So we'll use this one. And then I have these vlogger stickers from the Planners World. And they're film, edit, and upload. So we're just going to put film. edit and then upload okay so that's done now I do need to place some orders from Etsy so I will put one of these Etsy stickers from cupcakes and stickies and I will probably do that Monday or Tuesday I'll do it Tuesday so we're just gonna put that there because I need to do my PR orders and I've got some other things I need to do Tuesday also is two dollar Tuesday and the planners world always has two dollar Tuesday so I am going to use one of these two dollar Tuesday banners and this is Moxie, and I'm going to put that here. Actually, I'm going to put it in here. Because the half boxes is where I keep track of what shops I post for on that day. That looks really cute. Okay, so then we have Hump Day is Wednesday. These are from Sticker Monster Co., and it says, Happy Hump Day. And we'll just put him yeah, we'll just put him right here. 
And then I'm going to use these Friday stickers, which are also from Sticker Monster Co. on Friday. Not sure I could have put it there, but that's okay. Okay, so I think that we are done. And then I will save the rest of the kit for anything that I need to do throughout the week. So I've got all of this left that I'll do for the rest of the week as I need things. Let's put our clips on and call it a day. So if you guys enjoyed this plan with me, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave comments, questions, or suggestions down below. And if you guys are new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, click that red subscribe that's down below. And make sure you check that little bell to get sent notifications every time I upload new videos. Um, I've heard a lot of people are having issues with being unsubscribed from channels as well as their notifications being turned off by YouTube. So be sure to do that and make sure you click that thumbs up because that does help my channel. And if share this video with any of your friends or family or anybody that you would know that you happen to know that would enjoy a happy planner plan with me. So I hope you guys had a wonderful 4th of July. I hope you guys have an amazing week and um, be sure to check out all the shops that I used down below in my link tree and make sure you head over to the Facebook group or the um, plan with me design group blog page to check out the other YouTube creators that post weekly videos. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to do that as well. I do have a link in my link tree as well for that. And um, I, if we have the baby or anything new comes up with Michaela, I will probably post over there as well as I post my before the pen picks, my midweek and my end of week spread picks all always over on Instagram as well as any shop information. So with that being said, guys, from me to you, great big hugs, happy planning, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.